Happy Friday, guys! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Angel Baby. Thank you for joining me today. Today is Friday, guys. So happy Friday, and it is Friday game night. So let's get started with game night, guys. I'm so excited. If you are not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. That way you are notified the next time I upload any video, guys. And I'm going to get my money tray here. So I will put that over here for you guys. Here we go. And let me grab my cash, which is here. And I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. That's 27, 28, 29, and 30 for game night. You can play with whatever money you have, but that is what I have for Friday game night tonight. I am a little income budgeter here on YouTube. So, I have small amounts that I do budget with and also play Friday game nights with. So, guys, here is my game board. And I will go over it. So zero is self-care. One is taxes. Two is storm pay. Three is promise. Four is new tech. Five is girls, girls, girls. Six is angel baby, which is me. Hi, guys. Seven is mama cat, which is my mom. Eight is debt, which is going to be in Trudy, which is my mom's binder. Um, That's for medical bills. Nine is house maintenance and 10 is challenges so that's any challenges i feel like if i hit that number 10 i will put some money to wherever i deem is necessary so today i will be playing with my cat days card deck and i got these at the dollar tree when it was of course only a dollar i'm still hung up on that extra 25 cents but we will not get into that today so let's get started with friday game night guys so, hopefully you guys have had a wonderful week. Um, of course, you know, you still have those co-workers, you know, the ones that will just do something to kind of irritate you. And I'm telling you guys, if it's not one of my co-workers, it's the other co-worker or the other co-worker or the other co-worker. Well, you know what I mean. So, so... If you're getting along with one, then that means that someone else has got to act up. So, it is what it is. So, I really try not to give too much energy to that. But, sometimes it is a little bit annoying. So, that is what I was dealing up with this week. We have a new co-worker and she can't seem to get my name right. I have given her different nicknames that she can call me by because my name is unique and it is hard to pronounce. But, she doesn't seem to be able to grasp a like a nickname either so i mean i i don't know what to I, I don't know guys i can't help her so i mean if you are working with somebody and you don't even try to learn their name or, or whatever then hey don't call me for help that's all i got to say so she will be ignored <laughs> if she calls me by the wrong name especially if you give someone a nickname which is so annoying if you're working with somebody i'm a here's my little rant but if you're working with somebody and you're asking for help and you cannot even get their name right and you've been there over a month if you don't bother to even learn someone's name do not ask them for help that's all i got to say and if she calls me by the wrong name then i will ignore her and act like i don't hear her because that's not my name so here we go back to game night guys so we have two and i know that was so random that was my little rant for the week <laughs> so two is storm pay let me go into that envelope and i will show you guys what i have now this is my envelope i do believe in keeping my emergency separate so house emergency is separate from a car emergency or a medical emergency so that way i can keep track of my money so that's the reasoning behind why i do that Storm pay is no different than the other emergency. Storm pay is my pay just in case I have to evacuate or leave for a storm. And so that's what this is. So um, at first, I was only given to this at around the storm seasons, which is hurricane season. But now it seems like so much is going on, especially with the climate, weather changes and all that. So it seemed like it's going to be a year round thing. So that's why I'm giving it to storm pay. Right now we have... 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 89. So I'm going to grab one of these dollars. And that is the first dollar down. And we have 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 
So that is going to go into storm pay. Hopefully I will never have to use this, but if I do, I want to have the insurance so I have that money. So that is the first one down. And that was my first rant of the week. Normally I really try to be positive and not rant about anything or complain about anything, but the lady's been really getting on my nerves and she's new. So that's not really a good thing. If you're a new person, you're annoying the other co-workers and she doesn't really do anything i don't know how they're justifying her pay which i think is a little bit of annoyance too so the least you can do is if you're loafing around to learn people's names i mean you gotta do something to earn your paycheck that's how i feel but any who's it um work update one of the jobs that i did apply for um I did not get called for an interview because they decided to go with someone else, um, which is totally fine. You know, um, this person speaks three languages, so I don't speak three languages. Well, I mean, I guess I do if I have to speak English, then I speak a little Spanish, a little, you know, I can understand a little bit and then I can speak crazy. Like, you know, like my coworkers, I can speak on that level of crazy. So I guess I do speak multiple languages, but I think technically you can't put crazy down for a language, but I don't know. I mean, maybe you can. Who knows? Leave me a comment down below if you think you should be able to. Oh, one flew out. Um, but if you think you should be able to list crazy as a language, because I speak that quite well and I have to with some of my coworkers and the clientele that I have to deal with. Let me bend down and get this one that flew out. So the next one is, okay, two again, okay. Storm pay come through. So let me grab that one again. So needless to say, I didn't get the job, like I said, which is fine. Um, let me count this really quick for you guys. So in storm pay, I have 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, and 91. Um... You know, I used to be so upset, to be honest, um, if I didn't get called for something or picked for something or especially like a job interview because you put so much effort into your resumes and time and patience and waiting and all that stuff into it and energy and wishing and hoping and praying and you don't get picked. You know, you have that sense of just you're just bummed out or disappointed no matter i mean i guess really depending on your situation um you know you could be feeling a lot of feelings about it but now i have a different outlook on things how i look at it this way is i pray about it and i ask god in the universe to send me what is meant for me and to block out any kind of negativity roadblocks um, negative energy, negative situations. So if something is not meant for me and something is not good, I pray about it and ask for it to be removed. So because I didn't get that job that clearly tells me that one was not meant for me, it would not have been a good situation for me and it wasn't what I was looking for. So I'm very appreciative and I thank them for giving me the time and I move on to the next thing. So that being said, one just came out, so that is six. So six so my game board. Oh, it's me, Angel Baby. Look at that. So I am, I will be putting this in luxury, which is my wallet that I'm carrying right now. But right now I'm just gonna put it in my little rollover envelope here. And when I get off screen, I'll have to grab luxury because um luxury is in another room and I'm not close to her. I'm trying to, okay, this one kind of doesn't look good. I try to get the ones that are kind of bent already or faded or worn out because I do fold these bills that go into luxury or my A7 binders. I used to carry A6 in my um, my purse, but being that I kind of get to wear or take a smaller purse or a smaller backpack, I moved to an A7, which is a smaller size down from an A6. And so... Um, I normally have to fold my money over to fit it in there. So anyway, so that one fell through. There is one other one that I had applied for already because I told you guys I applied for two for right now. So one fell through and the other one is going to take them because they are like turtles. So it will at least take them two months to even like look at the resume. 
And I mean, it's really, it's not even a resume, but it's, um, two came out. So I'm not going to take those because I'm not sure where that is supposed to go. But anyway, um, they're very slow. Um, it is still with the place that I work for now, but it's a different department. But the overall HR department is, is, is very slow on hiring. Um, even if you already work there. And so um, that's going to be at minimum two weeks for them to even look to, I guess, at the application. I tried to upload a resume, but the system wasn't working right. Go figure, because I already worked there, so I know how crappy the system can be. Um, so I figured I already worked there. If they really want to know something, they'll call me for an interview. So that's how I look at it. So we have six. Oh, my God. Me again? What? What? Look at this. Come through. Come through. Oh, my gosh. So that makes me have two dollars for luxury when i get a chance to stop her and believe it or not i haven't used any of my personal money now the money i do uh, my budget with me videos you know whenever i stuff for mine which i cut back to five dollars for myself i haven't used it so um that money um, I always talk about having a buffer in my account, and when I do my what I spent in a week, you guys will see that I spent a good bit of money, and then I'm pretty sure some of you guys are asking where she getting that money from. That's not my money that I allocate to myself every pay period on my um, budget with me. Um, that money is just my buffer money. What I allocate to myself for my for uh, can't get out for my what I um. Not what I spent for, but um, my um, budget with me. I'm getting confused. My budget with me money that I always give to myself is just if I see like a snack or something like that. That's what that money's for. And I meant to clarify that because I could see how that probably could be confusing. But um, I do keep a buffer in my account. So if you see, oh my gosh. I'll, I'll take the one that flipped over because this came out earlier, so I will take it because it came out again. Um, but like I was saying, um, the budget with me money is totally different than my buffer money. And if you see anything that is a lot of money that's spent in my what I spent in the week videos, then that's from my buffer, which is still in my checking account. So hopefully that was that was a long explanation, but hopefully that clarified it. So we have nine. Nine is house maintenance. So that was meant to come out, I guess, because um, I do need to save it for house maintenance. So let me grab Rose. And oh, I totally messed that up. Really? I only stuff two envelopes in Rose right now, which is girls, 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 and house maintenance. So in house maintenance, I have 150, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 77. It's going to get the last dollar, and that is going to be 150, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 78. And I still, I don't, I've been procrastinating. I've had a lot going on with uh, Mama Cat's vet bills and vet appointments, so... I haven't even stopped for a second to try to call the maintenance person, but eventually that will get done. So I need to save up for the maintenance on the house. So we have, now we're going to the fives and then the ten. So let me see where the first five is going to go. I can't believe I've already, um, trying to turn them around. I've already gotten two dollars. So I won twice this time around. So I'm kind of shocked about that. But let's see. Let's see what's coming out next. But um, I will, um, back to the job situation, I will still look out there and I keep praying and I try to manifest my dream career. And I think that's why I've been hitting a lot of no's because the things that I'm going for is not really my dream. And I think when something is not in alignment with you, it's not going to work out. I don't care what you do. Two flew out. I don't know where they go. So we're going to keep shuffling. But I think the things that I was trying to go out for, and I'm going to get the one that flew out, um, that flipped over. But 
the things I was trying to go for weren't in alignment with me. And so I think that's why they're not going to pan out. But I will keep trying and I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. But we have four. Four is going to be new tech on mine. And let me grab that envelope. So new tech is going to be for a new phone. You know these phones that you get nowadays do not work past a certain amount of time because they are not meant to work past a certain amount of time. Now the papers in here is for me to reference back on what I spent on the phone that I'm currently filming on. And so I know if I'm getting a good deal, I can do a price comparison um, for the next of my buy phone. So I have 50 and 70. So I'm going to grab a five here. So that's 50, 75, so $75. And, um, you know, I just want to be able to have the money saved up for new tech. So when I have to buy a new phone, then I'll have that. And I'm not going to have to put it on a credit card. And, well, I probably still would, will put it on the credit card just so I can get the cash back. But I want to be able to pay it right off, if that makes sense. But... I love to use a cashback card, and so I will definitely, wherever I can charge, I do charge, but I pay it right back off. So we have eight. Eight is debt. So debt is that new one that I was talking to you guys about in Trudy. So let me grab Trudy real quick. Trudy is my mom's binder. If you guys are new to my channel, you have no idea who Trudy is. Now, my binder are my children, and so I name them. So yeah, I'm crazy like that, but that's what I do. So let's go to debt. Let's see. And we have debt right here. So this is medical debt because if you guys, <laughs> I'm telling you, if you um, have a hospital like I do, before you even leave the hospital, you you have your bill waiting for you in the mailbox. So um, I try to be prepared. Now I don't, I can't mark off a five because I've already done a five on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and I'm just going to put the five in here. And right now in medical bills, I'll have five, 10, 15, 20, but I'm going to kind of fold. I'm going to just get the crappy one and fold it over. So I know that I have not marked that one off yet. So maybe if I get another dollar, I can color in six. So that's going to go back into this envelope. Now, the only thing about this is, is when these envelopes get hot, they'll stick to the back um, because I like to put it over on this side so you can see it. Let me see. So you can see it face up with the colors, but they kind of stick here and then they stick on the envelope. So I'm going to try to clean that off. Um, I know if I laminated those, that wouldn't be an issue, but um, right now they're not laminated. So maybe the net set I do, I'll laminate and maybe that will resolve that problem. Okay, guys. So let's go to, okay, this is going to be my last five and then I'll move on to my last bill, which is the 10. So let's go to the five and see where the five is going to go. I have those upside down. So let's get it right, angel baby, because you are all the way upside down today. So let's see. There we go. So the five is, well, the last five is going to go to nine. House maintenance. All right. Okay. I'm fine with that. Let's go back into rows. And I hope this is focusing because it's kind of blurry. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm trying to get it to focus. I don't know what's going on with it. It's looking kind of weird. Hopefully it's okay. So... House maintenance or home maintenance. I'm gonna grab the last five. I gotta put it here. And in house maintenance, I have 150, 75, 6, 7, 8, 9, 81, 2, 83. And I have no idea what this is gonna get up to, but I'm just gonna keep stuffing because you know it's not so much as the parts, but the labor. That is going to be the killer. So that's that. So here's my last bill, which is this 10. And I will see where that one is going to go. So let me see. Make sure it's, nope, I'm upside down again. Okay, somewhere good, somewhere good. Come on, universe, somewhere good. Somewhere good, come on.
Now this last one's going to fight with me. I know it. If you guys are doing game night, let me know how your game night is going. If you're enjoying it with your friends or family or if you're just kind of playing, you know, by yourself um, with some cards or something like that. I'm just curious to see how everybody is enjoying their Friday night if they are doing this. Or if you are watching me, oh, and one flew out, if you're watching me, just let me know how you are liking game night. So we have two. Store pay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Let me grab that one. And that's going to get a 10. That kind of hurts a little bit because <laughs> I wanted that to go to something else. But, you know, the fates, the universe, God, angels, everybody has spoken. And that's where this 10 is going to go. So let me grab the 10. And in Storm Pay, I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 101. So I think I will um, probably just put a $100 bill in here because I do have one that can change out. So it's not making this envelope too thick. So that is where that is going. And that is it for game night, guys. So self-care didn't get anything. Taxes didn't. Promise did not. Girls, girls, girls did not. Mama Cat didn't, which I'm uh, surprised she didn't get anything. But technically, she did because she got debt. And um, challenges didn't get anything. So, I am kind of shocked about some of the categories not getting any money. But that is it for game night. We are all out of money. And hopefully, guys, you have enjoyed. Have a wonderful rest of your night wherever you are at. I love you guys and thank you for all the likes, shares, and comments that you have given me. Thank you for all your support. And then, like I said, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I would love to have you here with our small budget family. Until then, I love you guys and I will see you guys Sunday for what I spent in a week. Bye.